what's up what's good it's your girl Courtney B here and I'm back with yet another video in today's video you guys as you can see by the little intro I was sent a wig by Premier Lace Wigs they sent me over I think this is deep wave hair I just finished washing it and this is what it looks like along with the hair being a deep wave they did send your girl 22 inches and of course the lace is HD lace we have to have straight scalp or nothing at all Today I really want to focus on lace melting since we are using an HD lace. I want to show you guys the two different options that you can use. The two methods that I always typically use are a glueless method and as well as a gel method. I'm not going to say glue because I've never used glue in my life but I do use gotta be glued blasting spray and of course you gotta be glued gel <laughs> and I use the mousse that I got from Dollar Tree that I did do a video on and if you guys have not in that video i'll link that video down below in the description box that's what today's video is going to be i'm going to show you guys two different options to melt your lace and also we're going to kind of compare and see which one melts the best we're going to see all that in today's video i did go ahead off the of camera and pluck nisi because she was a little bit thick in the front so i did go ahead and pluck very lightly i didn't really do much honestly i maybe went back two rows and i did like a very sparse and random type pluck and get to the texture in a minute so let's just start this first install the most simple method i think we can go ahead and do now is of course the glueless method this is what the inside of the cap looks like i did want to focus more so on the elastic band for a few seconds i've never seen an elastic band that hook like this this part is adjustable if this band is a little bit too tight or too loose for you you can adjust this and you can unhook it as well there's no more sewing you can just hook this on tighten it when you want it tight and loosen it when you want it loosen and then you're good um all the rest of y'all hair companies need to go ahead and jump on board i don't see any reason why this should not be on everyone's wig this is called efficiency at its finest boom i think i'm gonna leave the combs on this time just because i don't really see a need to take them off now, if this has my hair looking kind of bumpy oh it's just gonna have to come off but let's go ahead and put this on I'm gonna use the elastic band okay so it's looking good already y'all hold on i gotta zoom y'all in where is it where is it just tell me where is it at where is it Don't mind how humped up the hair is at top. I have not flattened it or anything. I really just want to focus on the actual lace for right now. This is how everything melted together with just the mousse. This is the glueless method. This is an up close shot of how everything melted in together with just the mousse. Um, everything is melted, but as you can see in some spots, it does look kind of white as if it wasn't melted all the way or as if, some, or as if I may not have put product there but as y'all saw I put product everywhere even on my forehead this is honestly typical this is how the glueless method does look most of the time it melts 80% of the lace as you can see it is melted to filth towards the back area um but I'm not sure what normally happens around the edges but it's not really a problem that's just where I normally go in and add some more mousse and add it to the edges and tie it down for a little bit longer but yeah for the most part it's pretty melted see, if I was to cover up this spot we'd be Gucci I have to fix this because for some reason I've been struggling with cutting my ear tabs lately I've been using a mixture of my baby hair my own sideburns and a mixture of the wig hair sideburns so I'm about to finesse that in a second the wig is tacked down with just the mousse all right y'all so now let's see how Cecil lay with this gel
And now for the big reveal. Now I let this wrap stay on for the same amount of time that I did with the mousse, about 15 minutes. And this is the results that I got. Y'all can see it's very evident that this melt is on 10. I mean, some spots are a little bit flaky per se, but for the most part, this lace is melted. Even this up close shot is so freaking sexy, dog. Like, bump these little white spots, bump them. Because when you see how melted this thing is into my skin, I can rock the flakes. <laughs> now it brings us to the styling portion of this video. Right here, I'm just combing through the hair. The hair was very easy to comb through or even run your hands through. Um, when combing it, I do receive a little bit of shedding. Nothing is too much. Like I always tell y'all, I cut my ends no matter what with every wig I have. And just look at the flowage. It just does something, something different to the hair all on its own. Then I'm wetting the hair with some water. Because this hair is a nice little loose wave, deep wave. So I'm going to wet the hair with some water, get it nice and saturated. Um, You want it almost dripping wet, and then you're going to scrunch it to kind of bring back that pattern and bring back that wave. Um, Then I'm going to take my hot comb. I'll leave the link down below so you guys can go check this out. I love this hot comb. It gets me right every single time. And I flatten off the top. And then I'm going to go through with my mousse that I used to... Um, Lay down my lace for the glueless method, and I'm going to scrunch that in as well. You're going to want to scrunch a whole lot. That's what's going to make these waves really pop and really stay defined. If y'all can hear the AC, I'm sorry, it's hot. I got on this satin, silk, jumper, and baby. In Florida, they don't play. This is the finished look of how the hair turned out, how I decided to style the hair. I know someone's probably gonna ask me. If you guys are interested in this eye makeup look, y'all let me know down below. And I'll also leave a poll up above in the card whether you guys want to see this look. Very fall inspired. <laughs> and I will definitely get on that video for you guys. The hair that I received, of course, is from Premier Lace Wigs. I'll leave all of the information and everything that you guys need to know on one side of these screens. Y'all know how this goes if y'all are behind game. First things first, let's get into the two application processes. The first one that I used was the Lulis method. And that itself, it melted very well. Some spots weren't all the way melted. And I did have some white spots. Spots where I didn't have to go back over with um, some mousse and then after laying that down it did just fine typically I wouldn't go back and apply more mousse I would just apply some of my mom press powder and just put it onto the area that's a little bit lighter and then just make it blend with the rest of the melted lace and that'll be it so that method did pretty good but it just had some white spots now as far as the got to be glued method the gel method honestly and truly to me that is the best method when it comes to HD lace because it gives you a true method even though I had some spots that weren't as melted, the majority of the lace was melted very well compared to the glueless method. And also, it looked so much more skin-like when I used the gel. These two product comparisons was not to compare their holding power. It was just to compare how they looked melted and how melted it made the lace look. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I think the gel did a way better job. This is still the gel install. Um, I did not take it down. And if you guys see any demarcation lines, I did not apply any any makeup to my lace purposely for this video so you guys can see how melted it looks without without anything added just plain lace and just the adhesive when it does come to HD lace the lace technology is made to fit your skin so when you're bare faced with no makeup and the lace will definitely match your skin that's why it's not really matching with my face right now because I do have a makeup. So when you do put on makeup and you apply your wig, just know you're going to have to apply some type of 
makeup or powder or concealer, whatever the case may be, to your lace to make it match your face. Unless your makeup and your face is like a dead on match, then you're pretty much good. That is what I typically would have done, but today I did not really feel the need to add makeup to my hairline. It doesn't really look that noticeable to me and make to y'all, but I just don't really mind. So as far as the two products, the Got To Be Glue and the Dollar Tree Mousse, if I had to pick between the Glueless and the Gel Method, for the HD lace, I would have to choose the gel method only because it got me right. That doesn't really mean I'm not gonna use the Lewis method for my HD lace. I definitely will because I don't mind applying makeup to my lace anyways. Just showing you guys that there is an option to make your lace look even more melted than it already is. Personally, I still prefer the glueless method um, only because it's quick, it's easy, and it's efficient. So if it's not broke, don't fix it, sis. We're gonna look back on the website to see kind of how they're advertising this week. Oh Lord, they already have a name for her. Her name is Jasmine. We done did our job for us. Okay, so this is the Jasmine wig, all right? They gave her a name. This is the Jasmine Invisible HD Transparent Lace Single Knot Six Inch Lace Frontal Wig. I can literally part this wig way back here, which I wasn't expecting. I was a little shook. As far as the hairline, the hairline came, it came pretty pre-plucked. I could have gotten away with wearing the hair without me going back and plucking it, but of course I had to put my little finishing touches on it, so I plucked a little bit more. It just all depends on personal preference at that point. The knots definitely are single knots that means that the knots are the knots are attached to one to two strands of hair which makes the knots very very small and tiny so that way when they are bleached or even if they're not bleached um it's almost impossible to see them I mean not impossible but you know what I mean it's gonna be really hard you have to be all up on me and then on me some more and then zoom in on 10 and who got time for that if you got time for that you can buy me a better wig <laughs> Period. This lace melted beautifully to me. Even though this hair is advertised as a deep wave, I kind of would put it more in the spectrum of a loose wave. And the ripples in this hair that you see now, I think is more so from me scrunching and adding mousse. If you just wet the hair and it dry naturally on its own, the waves are definitely not this tight. Um, nor this defined. I would more so qualify this naturally as a loose wave only because the waves are very soft. So I knew off the bat I would have had to curl this hair or scrunch it with some mousse or slick it back. I would not recommend straightening this hair only because of the way the texture and how the hair feels. You wouldn't really get much bounce. It just wouldn't be ideal to straighten this hair. It definitely can be straightened, but I don't think it'll be what you're looking for if you straighten this hair, if you know what I mean. But it's definitely possible for a blowout look. You guys wanna flexi raw this hair. The hair definitely felt a little bit thin towards the ends. If you guys are not familiar with bundles or hair or whatever, talking like I'm familiar with it. Child, I'm unfamiliar with it, but I just, I just realized this after, you know, playing with hair for a little while. The longer your bundles or the longer inches you have of a wig, the thinner your ends will be. I don't know what is the purpose or what is the reasoning behind that, but that's just what it's gonna be. I did cut those ends off. I felt like they were kind of weighing the hair down, making the hair kind of stiff. Once I cut those ends off, baby girl was good. Y'all know that's a quick trick, that's a quick trick, get on it. It did actually make the hair feel thicker and look thicker and healthier. As far as the hair's quality, I've not had any problems with this hair concerning bad quality at all. I may experience a little bit of shedding, running my hands through it, um, brushing it, but that may also be due to the fact that I did bleach this hair. I did over bleach this time. Give me a little pat on the back. I did pluck, so maybe I'm getting some shedding still from hair that I did not comb out after plucking. It's nothing unbearable, nothing that's excessive but I just want y'all to know that I am receiving some shedding. I'm not hard to please. I know I've heard that before. I'm not. I'm not hard to please. If ever you are iffy about one of my reviews, please make sure you do your research. Do not base your whole purchase or your whole thought process off of one thing that I may have said. Look up more videos on this hair, give you a better understanding. Honestly, that's pretty much it. There's not really much to say about this hair other than the lace is amazing. AC Lace provides the best lace melt. You understand me? HD Lace was made for a balm lace melt. So if you guys are interested in upping your lace game, your lace weight game, HD Lace is always the only way to go. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the Beehive down below. Join the Beehive gang, the Beehive fam, because we are lit and we are never, ever bougie over here. Do you understand me. A big thank you does go out to Premier Lace Wigs. Thank you so much for sending me this lovely unit. I am in love with it. She is ready and slayed for the day. I know you want to keep in contact with your girl because I'm your best friend. You're my best friend. We're all best friends. So add your girl on Instagram. 
I mean, what? And I would tell y'all to give sis a name, but looks like they didn't get the work for us. Sis' name is Jasmine, 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 however you want to pronounce it. If you guys want to give her a nickname, I guess you can. I thank you all so much for watching. Even if you guys are not wig wearers, I thank y'all for just coming here and just checking on me, vibing with me, and watching me do my hair. That really does mean a lot. I realize a lot of you guys are not really wig wearers or do not wear wigs at all, but you guys just come here to enjoy being with me, enjoy watching me, and I appreciate that so, so much. And yeah, the love is just real over here and, you know, over there with you guys. <laughs> As always, I love every single one of you, but until next time, my lovelies, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded.